probably the biggest one I remember. 2009, I got a job in, uh, in Maui, Hawaii to coach a team there. And um, I just got out there to, um, to do a press conference. They were going to introduce me as the manager and the general manager. And I was there for one day. And something told me, you need to bring Amberly out here. Out of all my kids, something told me I need to bring Amberly here. This was uh, probably the middle of December. 2009. So I got on the horn, called Amberly, and I said, Amberly, I need you to come out here with me. She's like, why, Dad? I said, I don't know. But I really feel strongly that I'd, I'd like you to fly out here and spend the week with me. She's like, okay. So I went on, found a really good flight, unbelievable flight. And um, she actually was with her boyfriend at that time, and he was taken to the airport. Well, something happened and they missed the flight. And I was like, there's no way that just happened. So I said, okay, let me check tomorrow. So I checked and I was able to get the same flight for no extra money. So she flew out there and uh, spent the week with me there and we just had a great time. I mean, walking on the beach, there's one time she says, yeah, let's race. So we took off and we raced again, she beat me. But uh, we were walking on the sand just having a great time. And for some reason we kept walking and she kept asking me, Dad, I don't want to take pictures of my footsteps on the beach, um, which I still have on my phone. So we raced, we had a great time. It was just probably just an unbelievable time with her. And um, she flew home and pretty much about you know three weeks to a month later, she has the accident. So that was probably that was a pretty special moment for me. When I, if I ever have my dreams at night, I'm walking. Or at some point in my dream, I'm walking. Sometimes I have to go back to my wheelchair. And so there's been a few times where I wake up and don't even, for, for a split second, I don't realize, like remember that I'm in a wheelchair. And then I roll over and I see my wheelchair sitting next to my bed. And sometimes it's just like, this is getting annoying. Like this trial should be over by this point and most of the time I can get out of bed and deal with that and say you know what that's fine like this is what I'm gonna have to do but there's sometimes that I'm just like you know what no I I don't like this I'm this is not okay with me today and then I'll just get upset and I just by the end of the day I just okay, okay I'm gonna go to bed and I'm allowed to be upset today but tomorrow I'm getting up and it's gonna be fine and this hit me one time that while I was driving back to school I don't know why I just thought about that I wanted to tell this but one night, when, so I tell you, I, this is how I, when I get through all my thinking when I'm driving back to school. And one day when I was driving, I thought, it was, after, I don't know, I'd come home and I'd ridden in something and I'm on my way back and I thought, okay, I feel like that God sat down with my family and said, here's the obstacle. One of you in here is going to have to volunteer for whatever, you know, for this obstacle. And I thought, okay, I'm so glad that was me because... If it had been my dad, he wouldn't be able to do what he's still doing. Like he, you know, can't really, it'd be hard to support the family. People still do it, obviously, but just that would have been difficult in that route. If it had been my mom, it would have drove her crazy to have to do this situation. And yeah, she says that she would train me in it, but to get all the help that I have to get, it would, it would have been hard for my mom to do. And I mean, it's hard for anybody. But as a mother, I think for her to feel like that she couldn't take care of her kids all the time because of this situation, it would, have, it would have killed her. My older sister, Ashley, you cannot do gymnastics without your legs. You can't even coach without your legs, like you need them. My brothers, they cannot compete in baseball. They could have done another sport, but they could not have done baseball if they were in a wheelchair. And then I look at my little sisters and I look at Aubrey, who is just the full of life. And if she, if this had happened to her, I don't know how that would have crushed that. And then Autumn, I mean, yeah, she does what I do, but I mean, just on, on, you know, on a real life basis, she would have been not been able to handle this. It would have hurt her. And she's just a little kid. 
I guess maybe is the way to put it, she's just little. And so I think like when God presented that obstacle to my entire family of, okay, this is the obstacle, one of you is going to have to do this, that I'm glad that I was the one that did it because I can essentially still do what I want to do. I mean, I'm in a sport where I can get on my horse and leave my wheelchair to the trailer and have my horse be my legs, whereas no one else in my family could have done that with what they were competing in. Sorry, that makes me just upset. I, I mean, I just not upset, but I just remember hit, like that hit me so hard one day on my drive back to school because I just thought, okay, this is why, like, I really feel like he presented our family with this is the obstacle. One of you is going to have to face this. And I was glad that was me because I can still be successful in life and I can still do what I love even with this.